You know, we never leave our pick. Natural girls, we never leave our pick. Hi, Beauties and Curls. It is Melissa Q. It is another vlog. Welcome. Happy Monday. It's Maintenance Monday. In today's video, I am going to show you what I'm using on my hair and comment down below. Let me know if that's something that you guys like to see. If you like to see me like do like pick out my products and see what I'm using for the week, definitely let me know. I feel like it's interesting. I would love to know that, but I wanted to hear from you guys and also let me know if the step-by-step -step is helping anyone. Today's video is going to be all about properly shampooing or washing your hair. I know that it seems like a really easy, easy task, but I wanna share some tips with you guys, make your shampooing easier just because my hair tangles like crazy. That's one of the issues that I have. And so in today's video, I wanna make it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna show you some tips. I'm going to show you some differences and how product buildup looks. Yeah, it's crazy. But um, if you're interested in this video and in Maintenance Monday today, then keep watching. Okay, so t this is today's lineup. Um, oh, I gotta pick up oil, but this is, um, I might not be able to, I mean, might not have to, but this is the lineup of my wash day. And I kind of do this, you guys wanted to see some of my products that I that doesn't contain coconut oil. And what's so funny is that so many do, but these I checked and they don't. So Diva Curl No Poo, the creamy castor custard, that's pro protein free. We're using it today as our deep conditioner just because I want something thick and moisturizing for my hair. Just because my hair is on the dry side right now, this is the Smooth Natural Perfect Moisture Leave-In Conditioner and Hello Curly, which is now Uncle Funky's daughter. So this is going to, I'm going to do a wash and go and convert it into a twist out this time because I need to try the Amazing, amazing Cosmetic, Amazing Cosmetics, Amazing Beauty Hair Extensions. Those are the curly con extensions. We're going to use those earlier, uh, later in the week. So this is what that vlog is gonna be about, so yeah. Okay, so this is how my hair is looking. And it so needs to be washed. Like seriously, oh, let me keep that there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is actually get this part wet and you guys are gonna see a little bit of my washing routine today. Maybe I'll show you guys how I'm going to use my deeper curl. So I'm gonna wet my hair, I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna set it up and this is literally how I wash my hair. I don't put, especially when I'm not taking a shower, this is how I do my hair. So you'll see it in just a second. So in this vlog, I kind of like thought about it and I want to do a breakdown of what I do to my hair in terms of like each step. So instead of like doing just a wash routine, I kind of want to show you step by step what I do in each step. So and then the techniques that I use. Okay, so first of all, when I'm washing my hair, I do take some of the cream. This is the Diva Curl No Poo. Okay, and I keep it on my hands and I go into my scalp. So I'll go ahead and just start to massage. I'll lay it on the scalp. And you wanna take the pads of your fingers, not my nails, you're not feel, hearing scratching. What you're hearing is my the nail, my fingers, like the pads of my fingers, massaging the scalp. What that is doing, it's breaking up any buildup, anything that's on the scalp. I'm basically rubbing it off when I do that any gel you make sure you want to make sure that you get the whole entire head and another good step in washing your hair is first what the great thing about the no poo is that I can detangle but I want to show you something 
the section off the hair. If you have thick hair, which I know many of you do, you can take a section of hair and detangle. I want to show you something first before you start really washing your hair and getting in there. If you can detangle your hair section by section, what you want to do is detangle it first. Okay, so my hair is detangled. Then what I want to do is hold the hair taut and the only part I really want to massage is the scalp. This is going to keep me holding it like this. It's going to keep it from tangling back up. So I'm just going in and I'm massaging. I want to go on top and on the bottom. This is like if I want to give myself a really good wash day. And I don't know if you can see this, but you can see the product. Like this, the product is coming off. And then I'll maybe want to detangle again. And then I will go into that section and just massage. And I can see like the buildup is coming off, definitely. I can actually feel it and I can see it. I know this may be disgusting to you, but like the Diva Curl, this, let me show you really quick. Okay, so the Diva Curl is this color and my hair and the product buildup, not my hair, the product buildup, the dirt is this color. So you can tell that the product is coming off my hair. Sorry. Might have been disgusting, but I had to show you a visual. Some of you guys needed a visual. You know what I mean? So, that's just all the product that's on the scalp. When you give yourself a good scalp massage, again, the pads, I'm not scratching. I don't want to irritate the scalp. I just want to move the product off of it. If you want to go even further, you can use a shampoo that has apple cider vinegar. But holding it like this is something that has been epic in washing my hair. Because this part doesn't get tangled again. It just easily... Like, we're striving for low man manipulation. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to section this part off. And I'm not using the running water. If you notice, my hair's already good and it's wet. I can use a spray bottle if I wanted to, but really right now, I just wanna work in, I wanna work in sections, getting that product off my hair. So again, I'm gonna detangle a bit. And I know you're seeing me start off here. Really, you should start from the bottom and work up. You have to like consciously, if you like, I feel like it's important to consciously do your hair. Just not like, just do it. You actually need to like, I feel like it's a myth that it's less maintenance going to the salon. Of course, I'm doing my hair more here. I feel like it's more maintenance and it's more care because, yeah, that product is coming off. So I'm going to speed up this part just so you guys can see it. But I'm moving product. I don't want to scratch again. I just want to massage. And when I'm massaging on the top and on the bottom, I am getting that product built up off. And it can prevent, not getting everything off can clog your scalp, but it also can make your hair look dull. So, I want to make sure that I have everything and see how my hair stays detangled. And my biggest problem is tangled hair, so. Okay, so I've got these two parts. Fold those in. Let's move on to the back. I'm gonna section it off again. Going to detangle. Going to start from the bottom. Go to the root from root from tip to root. Okay. And I don't want to be heavy-handed. I want to take my time. Take your time. And 
Sometimes I feel like if I properly wash my hair, I wouldn't have so many issues in like when it comes to deep conditioning and all the other steps. This one, the original, I really like just because it has a it has peppermint, has a cooling sensation. I feel like it also circulates the blood. I'm giving myself a scalp massage, but this product has rosemary oil and also peppermint oil. So it is really nourishing my scalp while I'm cleansing it. I'm going to hold my hair taut and I'm just going to break up all that gel, all that leave-in conditioner, all that build-up product. Like I definitely can see. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Like my hair, I need to wash it. I know I wash it once, but sometimes I need to wash it twice a week. Just because I get built up. I think fine thin hair with heavy products and right now I like creamy products tend to get product build up very easily. All of this. You definitely can go in with an apple cider vinegar rinse after shampooing. So we are on our last strand and last strand on our last section. I promise you doing sectioning off your hair and washing it, it's not only going to make this, but it's going to cause you not to keep detangling your hair throughout your wash day. And it is going to allow for low manipulation. If you want your hair to grow and flourish and you want less breakage to prevent breakage, uh, less breakage, if you want like less of all the bad stuff, try detangling during your shampooing because it, it will help. And sectioning off will definitely allow you get to your scalp a little bit easier so i do feel that especially if you have thick hair i know i have fine thin hair but if you have thick hair i definitely recommend you sectioning off your hair my niece i do have a video of doing her hair and her hair is extremely extremely thick and i feel like sectioning off your hair or if you're doing anyone's hair is definitely going to help so yeah and y'all this product buildup is insane um yeah this is also if you if this product buildup is like i can see actually the dirt coming out sometimes that will gauge if i want to wash my hair more often or use less product that's one of the things washing your hair more definitely is going to to me, especially if you're high porosity, your hair is dry, it's going to help not allow your hair to be so tangled and or use less product. And just use water to reactivate the product. That's the tip that you can take too. Um, I could tell that I had a lot of product on my hair. So I am about to wash my hair and we are going to end this vlog. And I'll show you the final results of my hair. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you at the next Maintenance Monday. And let me know what you guys want to see next. I'll either put a poll on here and don't forget to visit me at YouTube Community. I definitely put polls on there. And comment down below and let me know what your favorite shampoo. What do you shampoo with? And uh, that's the question of the week. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see beautiful you in the next video. Bye, love you. Thank you.